Hobbyist Master here. Today we're going to look at how to blow a hole in this wall up here in RPG Maker MV. The first thing we need to do is go to the items and make a bomb. As you can see, I'm using the VX Ace icons. I like them better. You can download them. From you can search. I'm sure you can, they're pretty easy to find if you don't know how to resize them. So we're going to call this bomb. Next thing we need to do is make a common event. We'll just name this bomb. So we're going to make a conditional branch. To show which way the the uh, the player is facing, in this case we won't even facing up because the wall is above us. We need to make another conditional branch that shows if the player has a bomb in order to blow a hole in the wall. Okay, so if they do have the bomb and they're facing up, we won't have to show text. We'll just ask. Do you want to? place a bomb okay after we ask if we want to place a bomb we need to show some choices so yes or no if they click yes we need to turn the self control switch A on we can do this coming up in every time we want to do a bomb instead of having to place this each time at each location we want to put a bomb so now you need to decide where you want to be able to blow a hole in the wall then we're going to name it. After you name it, you need to call the common event. After you call that, you want to make sure that it's the same as the character and it's an action button. If you remember, at the end of this common event, it turns control switch A on, so we don't have to do that. We just need to make the control switch A page. We're going to place a bomb. I've made a bomb in Photoshop I just edited a little bit where I would have a little bit of a wick going down so I'm gonna turn my stepping animation on it has to be put as parallel we want it the same as the character we're going to wait 60 frames to give it time for the fuse to go down then we're going to show an animation for this event and let's play a sound effect. Okay, so I want some rocks to show on the ground in front of where we blew the hole. So I'm going to turn a switch on for that. Control switch. We're going to call it rocks. And just have it turned on. Then we're going to turn control switch A off. Self control switch A off. And we're going to turn control switch B on. Okay, after we turn B on, we need to make a new event page. We need to put the hole that we just blew in the wall there. So we'll just pick you a hole. We want it to be the same as the character. And I'm going to do a player touch because I'm going to be doing a transfer. Because what's the sense of blowing a hole in the wall if you can't go through it? We're going to send him into this cave. Since we're coming in at the top, we need to change his direction to looking down. Apply this. So this is where our hole is going to be. This is where the rocks are going to show on the ground in front of it. So let's go there and make this event. We're just going to use these as rocks. We're going to put it below the character where you can walk through them without them causing any trouble make sure that you whatever you put here make sure it is passable where you can walk through it and what we need to do is just turn control switch rocks on and whenever that switch is triggered then they'll show up under you so let's test it and see if it's going to work we already have a hole 
so that's not right. I forgot to turn it to self push B. Let's try again. And do I want to place a bomb? Yes. Okay, that blew our hole. Let's go in. Get our treasure. And then go back out. And that's how you blow a hole in the wall using RPG Maker MV. If you got any other questions or if you need some help trying to do something, you can send a, a message or put a comment. And I'll see if I can figure it out for you. I'm not a pro at using RPG Maker, but I do like messing with it. It is something I do for fun. Thanks for watching. Okay. Oh, come on.